talking about brokenness. Listen, broken to birth is all about brokenness. That's what this ministry is founded on. I want to encourage you in the midst and give you a little bit more insight on what brokenness is all about. Many people are discouraged and are discouraged at the very word and look at brokenness as some a word that's tainted. But, you know, people like to quickly say, I'm not broken. Uh, well, we, you know, the truth of the matter to, of, of that is we're all broken. There's something going on on the inside of each and every one of us that will cause us to be in a broken place and in a broken state. The difference is that there is an opportunity that we have the choice to remain in that state of brokenness or allow God to use the brokenness that he inflicts upon us for his own purpose and plan. Now listen, I want you to understand that our sufferings that we go through is not brokenness. Our suffering is what produces brokenness. It is in the midst of our suffering, whether it's a trauma that we've endured, whether it's an event that transpired in life that has caused us to to be in a state of, of of grief, whether we've lost a loved one, there are so many different events that can happen in our lifetime that will cause us to be in a place of brokenness. But in the midst of that, but in the midst of the suffering, uh, excuse me, the suffering that we're in, God will come in and He'll crush us. He'll crush us to the point to where we will have to realize that it's no longer our way. It's no longer our will that God uh, will allow us to walk into. It's no longer about our plans, but there is a crossroads that God is allowing us to come to where we've got to make a decision about our lives. We can no longer go living our lives haphazardly the way that we want. And even if we're making good choices and good decisions and living the good life, if we don't have God deep in the depths of our soul and we have not given our whole heart over to him, you too will have have to come to a crossroads and it is in your suffering in our suffering where God comes in and he breaks us where God comes in and he begins to crush us that's why the word of God says that I am close to those of a broken heart and those of a contrite spirit it is in the brokenness that God allows us to go through that he inflicts upon us where he will break us so break it break our will break our spirit so that he can come in and do a cleaned up job on the inside of us. I'm reminded of, there's a movie that I saw. I can't recall the name of it, but Samuel Jackson played in this movie. And what he was... He was the man that when somebody died or somebody was murdered, he would be the one that they were called to come in and to uh, clean up all the mess, to clean up the blood, to wash down the walls and to sanitize everything and make everything good as new. So that when the next person or when the family came back into that dwelling place, it looked nothing like it did when they saw their loved one die, when they saw when they saw the, the ramifications of what happened to that murder. And even for the families that didn't even have the opportunity to see it, it cl he cleaned it up as though it had never happened. That is the kind of God we serve. God is the cleanup. He is the cleanup God. He is the cleanup God. He comes in and he washes us and cleanses us and purifies us and cleans us up in a way that our future and our will look nothing like our past. The way that we used to be will be in no comparison the way that he's creating us to be. Listen, brokenness is not our enemy. Brokenness is our friend. It took me a long time to understand that. I had to realize that the brokenness that I was in, yes, I was in a pain and suffering and in deep despair. But in the midst of all that, God broke me. God crushed me. He used the suffering and my pain of what I was going through to break me my will to break my spirit no longer could he allow me to go on believing that I was okay the way that I was saved and sanctified but still not having got not had given my whole heart over to God and the thing about that is I didn't know it not once in my life had I ever heard of any pastor any preacher any teacher ever teach on the heart transformation that when you get saved it's not just about 
salvation because after salvation there's a couple of more steps that got to take place repentance first and after repentance comes salvation after salvation comes uh, purification and after purification comes regeneration and after regeneration comes the indwelling of the Holy Ghost we have to make sure that we're not skipping the steps and the process that God must take us through that we, so that we can receive the total transformation that he has in store for us we have the opportunity we still have the will that God has given us because he's given us all the freedom of will we can reject his will for us to live the abundant life and live in the fullness of who our God who our God is by the indwelling of his spirit or we can make the decision to move away to turn our backs and turn our face away from what God wants to do in us and stay and remain where we are. Not many people will opt to take the journey of brokenness, but it is in the brokenness where all your all your answers are. It's in the brokenness where we're able to bow at the feet of Jesus in gratefulness and gratitude with thankfulness for allow him allowing our eyes to become open to see not just how far he's brought us from, but how he picked us up out of the darkness of that pit and brought us into his marvelous light and set us, set us upon a rock to stay. Jesus is the rock. He is the rock in a weary land. He is the cornerstone that we live by. He is the rock that holds us up and keeps us encamped in the palm of his hands. Listen, brokenness is where we need to be. We have to invite God in to come and break us, break us so that we can come before him with a yielded heart and a broken spirit that he may be able to dwell and abide here but not only dwell and abide but show his work and perform his glory in us and through us that we may be able to help him do the work in the earth that he needs to have done before his return remember brokenness is not your enemy brokenness is your friend